today I want to show you how to use a wire gauge guide. It comes in a protective sleeve and I actually recommend that you keep it in this just because the corners can actually be quite sharp. So what you have here is you have this disc and along the outside here it shows you the wire gauge and it goes from zero all the way up and it goes around and then it keeps going around to 36. So it's going to show you gauges from zero to 36. And what you're wanting to do is you're wanting them to fit within the slot. So don't worry about the little round spot down here. It's the slot right there that you want your wire to fit into. And if you flip it over, you'll see that it has its corresponding millimeters over here. So as you can see, 32 gauge wire is actually 0.27 millimeters. So that's handy to know too. So I want to show you really quickly how this works. I have an eye pin right here and a head pin as well. And if you're like me, you tend to store these where you don't put their labels on them, so you're always trying to figure out what they actually are. So with this eye pin right here, what you'll do is you can kind of guess where you think it might fall. So it goes right through the 19. Now that slides way too easily. So you go up to 20, still very easily. Go to 21, and that looks pretty much like a perfect fit, but I just want to double check and try the 22, and it's not going in. So that shows that this is a 21 gauge, brass eye pin. I'm going to show you with one more. I've got this little head pin here in gunmetal and I can tell it's a bit thinner so I'm going to try the 21. It goes right through that really easily. 22, still going too easy. 23, pretty easy. 24, oops, I wiggled it and it went through so that means it's going to fit but I'm guessing it's 24 and it's not going to fit through a 25 but I'm just going to try it. Yep, it's not fitting. So this here is going to be a 24 gauge gunmetal head pin. And that's all there is to using a wire gauge guide. It's a very handy tool. And then when you're not using it, again, just make sure you put it back in its protective sleeve and that's gonna protect your fingers.